we did just get a call from our clinic from the embryologist. Um, she said that that she uh, did thaw two frozen embryos that were in one trunk together, and um, that they're they're still viable and they're still um, they're still alive. But they uh, a couple of them, I guess they both have uh, dark spots on them, which isn't um, preferred. Um, so she um, so that it would probably be best to to just transfer them both mm -hmm. and that she would call a doctor and uh, we said that that was fine and yeah I think that's the plan so whatever God wants we, we said in the beginning if they both didn't look very good that we wanted to give them both a chance because just refreezing them which is normally fine for a healthy embryo I don't know what it would do to embryos that are struggling um, so we said uh, yes we'll just transfer both of them um, and hopefully one of them at least sticks well of course gonna pray that they both stick even though we were wanting just one but they're our children to us, um, and they're so precious, and you know, losing one of them is going to be hard. So by the title um, that you've already seen, you know if we are expecting or not expecting or if this is how we all find out, we're not really sure yet, but it's time. Um, it is Monday. We just found out that we are going to go in for blood workup this morning um, and James was going to go with me, but he ended up getting the flu. Um, Sorry. <laughs> this morning and he still doesn't feel very good so um, we uh, I went and got blood workup done earlier and then um, I ended up we asked the clinic to leave a voicemail that way when we came home after work um, we could both listen to it together but James got the flu so <laughs> it's not your fault it's just the way life is so by the time I got home around like 435 um, he just still was in bed super super sick he's yeah. still not feeling good but um, we kind of need to know today because of the medications and everything. So it's like 9 or 10 o'clock. I haven't listened to the voicemail at all. It's been on my phone for a little over 12 hours now. Um, and it's been very tempting. Um, this morning I also took a, a pregnancy test and then hit it. So we haven't even looked at that yet. Um, just so we have two things to go off of. But <sighs> it's time. It's I'm already wanting to cry. I'm so nervous. It's... Yeah. It's here. All this time and you put all this time and effort into this and yeah. now it's time to find out if it worked mm -hmm. or not and we're obviously Sorry. a little anxious <laughs> to, to find out if it worked or not. But uh, Cause like right now I feel like they're with us, both embryos and it's going to be really hard to find out if they're not. So. But it'd be pretty amazing to find out if they are. Yeah. And we've had so much help and prayers. Sorry. So much help and prayers and love and support and encouragement. And just so much family and friends and our placing family. Um, everyone's been phenomenal. And, um, you know, part of us don't want to disappoint people. But we know that God has a plan for us in our lives through this. Yeah. And, um, see, we've, I've, it's built up. I've waited all day. <laughs> but I wanted to do it when James felt a little better. Just because, you know, this might be an exciting day or it might be very hard. And either way, we're going to need our strength to, to go through it. Yeah. So I'm going to go get the pregnancy test and bring it down. We're going to listen to the voicemail first. And then look at the pregnancy test. Um, but I think we need to pray first. Like we always do. Ask for peace if it doesn't work, and ask for peace if it does. 
whether it's one or two or if it's none this time. Um, we know that we've been very blessed through this. Sometimes when God says no, it's it's not a curse. Sometimes it's a blessing. We just don't know why. So, you want to pray? Yep. Dear our Heavenly Father, Lord, we, we thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. We pray for your guidance. And we just, we know either way we're going to need your help. And we're going to need your grace. And we're going to need your love for us. Thank you. Is there any last minute things you want to mention about just the whole transfer of the trip, the journey to get here? This whole journey has um, obviously had its hardships like anything. And, um, you know, again, we're thankful for this opportunity because we know other people in other situations may not have these same opportunities. Yeah. We're thankful for the love and the prayers from everyone who's who's helped support us along the way um i mean this whole thing has been sort of i guess sort of surreal that mm -hmm. that because we've been talking about this for over three years and now we're we're here and we did it and it's just a little crazy but I guess it's I just the only thing I think I want to mention which I think we've said before is through everything that we've been doing and sharing and this process we've not been perfect through it we're born sinners but we're born again believers praise the Lord for that and our salvation um, but I hope anybody watching the only thing that I, want, I would love for someone to get off this is that God will always be with you. He'll always stay with you. He'll always help you through everything. And we want him to be glorified through our joy and through our pain, no matter which one it is. Um, throughout this whole process, um, and especially today, um, we want God to be the one to be magnified um, through all of this. And that's why we're trying so hard to share in a positive light because we know God's got our story already written and he's just using us to write it and he wants us to have faith and be patient and to trust him and that's what we're trying hard to do so um, that's what our whole journey has been about and this whole you know adoption process and trying to become parents has been about and I know that the things he's teaching us through this is going to help us when parenthood does come um, whether that's now or um, in a year or two so I think it's time. I'm gonna go get the pregnancy test and we're gonna listen to the voicemail. Okay. Love you. Me too. All right, so I got the pregnancy test that I took this morning. It's upside down. Now we're gonna listen to the voicemail. Um, I'll hold it out. Our hearts are racing, by the way. I don't know if you can hear it, but mine is I'm anxious a little bit. Not racing too bad. I think I'm just nervous. I have two. I think it's this one. Hi, Anna and James. This is John Rapasada from Fertility Centers. It's about 12:30 Chicago time. Um, I'm calling with your results, and unfortunately, the test is negative. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I wish I could give you different information.
Thank you.